<laughs> ROE, man, we live, man, right here, Truman Street, man, Stop 6, man, in the park, man, legendaries themselves, man, founders, man, my homies, man, you feel me? Right here, man, and you already know who I got shotgun with me, man, Big Ace Boogie, man, legendary, man. Y'all get ready for this live EP, man, we finna knock Yes, come on, talk to me, man. Knock this first one on out, man. What it do, man, TV Land? <clears throat> You know how I do it, man. I'm your host, man. Nino Cappuccino, man. It's live. ROE 2021, man. Live right here in the park, man. Truman, stop six, man. Fucking history. I told you niggas, man. History, man. Shout out to my man, man. Prime team, man. We right here, man. Let's go, man. Unity, baby. From Washington, Texas, man. I'm going to allow him to introduce himself. This is one of the triple OGs right here. One of the founders. One of they big homies. Other big homies, man. Tell me who you is, Trent. This is our sixth Trent. I the sixth, born and raised here. And uh, we trying to give back to this community and, and make it a little bit better, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make something better that's going on around in these streets so we can uh, stop these killings and shit that's going on through here. You know what I mean? So basically, you talking about a solution, dude. I'm trying to, I'm in a solution, yeah. That's in right. Sense. I'm solution. trying to talk about a solution. Because this is what it's about. Yeah. Me personally, I'm here to pay homage right. to you brothers, the brothers that I'm connected with, man, from Texas. I got alliance with Texas, I got roots in Texas, right. I got family right. in Texas, so I've been connected to Texas. But coming from this street shit, and coming up out of Watch Nicks and Gardens, and paying homage to you guys, man, because of what y'all done, man, back in that era, and representing this Damo shit, man. Right, right. I, I had to come touch the soils. Right, right. I had to. Cool. It was Mando for a real one like me. To come touch the soul to meet real ones, feel me? Right. Because it's real cats all over the globe. I always say it, I always speak it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And man, it's an honor, man. And uh, this is my podcast show, man. So what we talk about here is it's, it's not about me getting on the camera today. And uh, neither one of us is OGs and double OGs exactly. and cool, YGs cool. That's what I'm talking bragging about. and bullshit about killing and murder. Right, it's right. about yeah, our livelihood. About this is what we did. Exactly. This is who we were in the past. That's right. This is who I am today. Because today I'm a CEO. I'm an entrepreneur. I Bam. own shit. That's right. You feel yeah. me? I eat. That's what we got. I take do. care of my kids, my family. So that's a whole different ball game. I suppose a nigga that's hanging out here in the streets with a pistol and a bottle on his hand, waiting on some trouble, or looking for some trouble. So my yeah. first question, man, oh, to interact on this, man, as a as a solution, what is your general idea as a solution? What what what, what would you think? How can we help I solve think, certain situations? You know what I really think, man? I think we got to start, like, in the, in the, before they even get into high school. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I think that we just got to just, in general, start from there and, 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 and put them in a the frame of mind to where they can have, start living in the present moment, in a sense. Because, see, when you get, they get trapped up and peer pressure jump off the thing. Before you know it, man, they get caught up, and you know how it is to get caught up. You been, we, we been there. You know how it is to be in the streets. So it's safe to say then, when you say start, we should start at the toddlers then, at that age yeah. four, five, or six, because they're, they're sponges. Because you got to remember, yeah. they are the sponges of the future. Because you got the big brothers, little sisters running around the houses, right, and they mimic what they see. True, true. They mimic, they, they speak what they hear. Feel me? Mm -hmm. They walk how they see people walk, which is their brothers and sisters, their parents. Most of these um, young single females, they talk derogatory to their kids. They talk at them. They don't talk to them. They talk fucking at them. Get your motherfucking ass over mm -hmm. here. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm knock your goddamn head off. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand That's the destruction toxicity. of the, toxicity all day long. Every they don't understand the destruction of that shit. It's going to rub off. Mm -hmm. And then once that kid get to that certain age, and you wonder why he or she just bumped off at the gums on you is because you planted that seed and exactly. you didn't even realize it because your mama gave it to you. Exactly. It's a generational curse. Yeah, exactly. me? As our culture, shit that we go through this, this nasty, bro. Because when you study and you master other cultures, they don't do shit the way we do shit. Nah. They do shit totally different. 
We have, we have lived, we, I think we living in a place where we are normalizing toxicity. You see what I'm saying? Like, we using, like, like, like you just said, the major thing. And I'm, I'm guilty of it because my grandmama used to cuss the shit out of me. That's how she got through to me in the city. But at the same thing, then we gonna say we gonna make it right. We ain't gonna make it wrong. But if you if you if you structuring that child in that which way form of fashion, then he ain't gonna do nothing but go towards destruction. You know what I mean? And and when he's looking out in the streets, you gotta understand something about being in the streets. Gang culture that becomes family. And then when you say and then when you say gang culture becomes family, then you look at the glue that puts them together, which is tragedy. Shit, I ain't mean, like, that's me and you. If, if I turn back around, somebody did something to you, and I, and me and my homeboys, we finna go do that to them. Guess what's going on? Nigga, I'm proud of that. Exactly. Cause I got, I got, I got back. I got, I right. got you back. And, and guess what, what that glue is? Yes, that exactly. glue is tragedy, right. but me and the dudes, they went out and took care of that for you. You go on and on, but we together. So how can I turn back around and walk away from that? That's a hard peel the swallow exactly. you dig what i'm saying but that, that's the protocol and like you said that glue the support part of that significance is when that's built when that family is built when that True structure that. is built among those gangs see a lot of people look at gangs and don't understand that <clears throat> gangs itself is a culture exactly and that culture complies where you have this runaway kid who don't have a mother or father but you his big homie Damn. His I'm his big brother Cause this is who we believe in, this is who we look up to. You give him great advice. Of course, his eyesight. You feel what I'm saying? Love Even don't make your family love, dude. All day long. You, you see what, what I'm saying? saying? If he got, if that's where love is at, whatever direction I think that I'm gonna take it, that's where that's gonna go. Because what? He loved me. I'm showing him love. He ain't got love in the home front. He probably don't know what love is. But if again, like I, you know, when I'm on a mission with me, like. But sh we got a bond that's strong as... So you say, man. So let's 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 let's, let's rewind it back a couple of years, or a, a couple of decades or so. Mm -hmm. you feel me? When did you start in the game? When did you, you know come what, up you with know what? And what inspired you? Because I, I I know from... Oh, I'm the team. I know from y'all perspective, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know from y'all perspective of history, y'all inspiration came from the West Force San Diego skyline. No. My, I always came from my, my kid for every one of my kid folks is from uh, Swan Hood. 74th and Main. Stop right there. Stop if you right know there. Onion, oh, stop right you know there. Onion? Tell that camera, if you know there. Onion, tell that camera you know, what you just said. All of my people us from Mad Swan Hood. Seven nines. That's right. We lived off 74th and Main. TV land. So... Roots. When roots. Remember, I used to tell not to cut you off. Yeah, cut you Remember, I used out. to tell y'all about roots and how a lot of us from Cali, from Los Angeles, y'all wonder how this gang shit spread, especially when it comes down to the lines of Texas, the Midwest, and the, and the South connection, right? Uh, and how dominant and official a lot of these gangs down here were was because official niggas came from Cali, dog, yeah. in the 80s and the 90s and planted these seeds. And there, some of them was born here. Most of them have family still here. I, all of my on. family, everybody that turned back to transition from Marshall, Texas, and went to California. California, Texas, we was in, we we, we stayed, I stayed in California up until like close in and out until the sixth grade. That's when I stationary in school down here. So when the first thing that happened was no one knew what a blood nor a crip in Texas was until the movie Colors came out. So, so, so it's safe to say, for you and that aspect, by you being older, colors was kind of like that. Well, see, colors that, 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 was 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 n not new to me. It was new to everybody in Texas. Right, because you I, because I was yeah, there yeah, yeah. when when the when the movie Colors came out. When the movie Colors came out, that 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 was a time where blood. No one knew what a blood was. I knew what one was because. I grew up there. So when everyone started leaving from California, one of the first stops was Fort Worth, Texas. They, they, they landed on the south side. They started migrating and they started coming around and they, they set up camp, Crips, 
set up cramp on this corner right here. Which, which, which corner is it? Corner Truman, Truman. and uh, Style Cup. Mm. On that day, the movie had already came out. I never forget, the youngster came down to the house and said, hey man, some real Crips were on the corner. Was that? That was right it, after. Was, was that influential based on the movie? That was influential based on the uh, movie. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so they formulated on that corner. They formulated on, well, they turned back around and decided they come down the corner. Came down to the house. We'll make a long story short. I knew what that was. Oh, they came to your house. To well, it was, well, they, they, they was coming. They was oh. leaving all over. You know when, when, oh, so when, 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 when. This was the lay down and get out. Yeah, you know when, when, when <laughs> in 88, if you remember, in 88, Everyone from California started migrating all over the United States. That's right. You got to remember in 88, you know, some Ice-T said some powerful shit. He said the gangs of L.A. will never die, just multiply.